So, we're making chicken and biscuits. Well, not chicken and biscuits, unchicken and biscuits. Anyways, to start with, you gotta have biscuits. So I'm gonna use my beef with meat, the cookbook. As like a cutting board or? No, no, no. A recipe guide? A recipe book. Better than buttermilk biscuits. Wow. This recipe makes eight biscuits, which is enough for Craig. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to triple it. Mm -hmm. um, I also I mess around with this recipe because this recipe also calls for um, rolling them out. But you know what? Why should I roll them out when I can drop them and make them a drop biscuit? Why should I get that thing all dirty? So yeah, we're going to tweak it a little bit. And it also calls for um, putting your cashews in the food processor and then doing your flour and stuff in there. Well, guess what? When you're making a triple batch, it won't all fit in there. So I'm actually going to cut it into a, a bowl just like you would a, with a pastry cutter, just like you would like for pie crust or biscuits that used butter. So these better than butter. 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 <laughs> these better than buttermilk biscuits. That's a lot of bees. Better than buttermilk biscuits. That's a whole lot of bees. Um, cashews are the, uh, are the fat binding agent. So, since it calls for two-thirds of a cup of cashews or walnuts, times three, that equals two cups. That's pretty good math. Oh, yeah. Always with math. It's raw cashews. You gotta wanna? Why do they have to be raw? Because it says so in the book that has recipes in it. Oh. And for anybody who's worried, washed my hands. <laughs> Some people know what you're talking about. Other people will not. That's fine. <laughs> My hands are washed. Okay, so combine the two cups of flour. Blah 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 blah. Blah blah blah. blah. You're like the Charlie Brown parent. Wah, 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 I think you gotta put the water. Yes. So it's gonna take six tablespoons. Of vegan water, water, right? Yes. Make sure you're using all vegan water. Mm -hmm. And this is also going to call for milk, plant milk, almond using, beverage. <laughs> almond <gasps> beverage. It says almond milk. <gasps> the dairy industry no. is oh, going to get does. mad. Okay, oh yeah, we better blur that out yeah. before the dairy industry and comes to no, our house. You're supposed to use like um, unflavored and unsweetened. This is vanilla flavor. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I've used it. I can't taste the difference. So don't worry about it. Okay. So just. Uh, How much was that? Six tablespoons. Hmm. Just put it in there and blend the heck out of it until it forms a ball of cashew butter. Man, would you say that you're making processed food? Well, that is a food processor, so I think we're gonna have to go with that. It just stopped. It did. Wait, just go. Like, oh, turn it off. All right, and then there you go. Now do it again. There you go. You like a food processor, cheese. It's like I've used one before. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed. Okay, yeah, I'm you should be. You raised a pretty impressive kid. That's true. Scrape this a bit to make sure I got all my nuts. Just one bit? Nuts. Scrape it one bit. Scrape one, yeah, don't be doing two bits. That's, yeah, that's gonna be a over, little overkill. Over scraping. You don't want to be over scraping this. Yeah. Because then it could cause a problem it's called like diaputis or possibly Zorch trouble. Mm hmm. Looks pretty smooth. It smells smooth. Craig, I have a, a commercial thing that bothers me. Mm. When um, commercials say something has a creamy taste, mm -hmm. unless it tastes like cream, cream, creamy a is a texture, yeah. it's not a flavor. You know what also? Can't buy a bottle of creamy. You know what also grinds my gears? No, Craig, do tell. When advertisers say new and improved. Yeah, the old one really sucked. Yeah, but that would also mean that it's not new if it's improved. Because if it's new, You're right. it's the first one. You're right. It's new or it's improved, but it can't be both. Oh, I'm open to can of worms. Oh, yeah. Hope they're vegan. I think that's good. Once it starts forming the ball in there, it's good? That's good, yep. Okay, it's now good I need stuff. a big bowl. Where are you gonna get that? From my big stack of bowls over Your here. Your big bowl collection? Yep. No. Oh yeah, my wooden bowl broke the other day. I did see that crack there. Yeah. 
I Although, I have two other wooden bowls, so. Thank God for that. I know. Have you poked your potatoes lately? Wow. Because we're making, um, we're making, uh, those look un like unchicken. Good. Those look pretty good. Unchicken and biscuits. And it calls for mashed potatoes, and we didn't tell them how we do this. You boil the potatoes. And I just chopped the big ones and boiled them. And boil them in boiling water. And wait, and what? Boiling water. Oh. Not gasoline, not orange juice, water. So I'm just going to measure out six cups of flour. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Okay, so if I was doing the, the Rip Esselstyn method, I'd have to keep the flour out because I'd have to put on my pastry cloth to roll it out. But I'm not doing that. I'm dropping them because I do what I want. And you know what? Deal with it. Okay, next we're going to need three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. Now how different is that from baking soda? This is baking soda. Yeah, but how different is it? I don't know. I just I'm just following the recipe. Like forty percent different. Could we maybe do fractions, like four tenths? Yeah. So it's four tenths percent different. Probably. Four tenths point one eight percent difference. This my half teaspoon. And how different is that from a half teaspoon? Pretty different. Pretty different. Uh huh. Don't ask me for any more, any more math questions. I find the spoon I want. Oh, gee whiz! Now you look like me in my recipe videos. Well, you always looking around for stuff. <laughs> you came by it honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you could just do the Christian method, which is uh, guess. Well, he um, will take like he would probably take like a normal teaspoon and then just fill it up halfway. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've done that before. I estimate, but I really yeah. do want a tablespoon. There we go. Just for um, baking powder. I need three tablespoons of baking powder. Yeah, I'm kind of a good guesstimator. If anybody remembers the famous, or should I say infamous, apple cider donut recipe where mm -hmm. I put the sugar in two times. The donuts were a success, huh? Well, Craig, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look behind me. <laughs> well, guess what? I made it last week. I put the sugar in one time. They came out great. Mm-hmm. I can testify that they came out. Well, actually, both times it came out great. They probably came out better the first time. But they were donut-shaped. Yeah. Probably came out better the first they time because they were twice they were as sweet. crumbly. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. The other ones weren't very crumbly. They were very they stick come out together. Of the pan. Yeah, they were like they stuck together. Okay. A lot. A table. Uh, very sticky. Tablespoon. A teaspoon and a half of uh, salt. And this is a half a tablespoon, which is kind of a weird measure to have, but that's what it says. Which hmm. is the same thing as one and a half teaspoons. A teaspoon and a half. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna stir that stuff up. Stir it up. Stir it up. Yeah. Make sure not to stir it down, mom. It's good to use a smiley. Um, wooden spoon. Well, it's not wooden. It's plastic. It doesn't matter if it's burnt as long as it has a smile on it. Yeah. That's a really count. Somebody put too close to a flame. I don't know who would do something like that. Do you? Would you do it? I don't know. I feel like I could blame you easily. <laughs> hey, you cook more than I do. <gasps> Mom! Come on! I cook more than you do? Yeah. That's true. I'm just, I'm just actually coming off a several month stint of not cooking that much because, mm -hmm. you know, it was Easter in the candy store. Yeah, during Christmas, I'm basically the housewife around here. Yes. And Kara, too. Kara does all the cleaning. I do a lot of the cooking. Yep. And Daddy and I do all the working. Yep. <laughs> Okie dokie. So we mix this stuff up. So now this is the part where other people who are not vegans would cut butter into this using a pastry cutter. But we are vegans. So we are going to cut cashew butter into this using a pastry blender. Now, even though it's called a blender, there is no on-off switch other than my actual hand. Boom, 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 boom. That's how it goes. How? Wait, can you do that again? Do slow motion. Boom. I need a slow motion, like boom. Boom. Well, your hand's coming up too fast. It goes down I'm slow. I'm married to Quick Steve. What do you think? <laughs> it goes down slow, but it's got to come up slow. That's much more convincing. Mm. Grabbing the spatula, as Dad yep. would say. Spatula, yep. It spatula. It has an R in it. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Just like an idea. An idea. 
I'm glad Dad doesn't say that, though. I'm glad, too. Okay. An I deer. Is that like an iPhone, but a deer? Something like that. I deer? An I deer. It's an electronic deer, yes. Because mm. if you, you know, say you want a pet deer, but it's against your town regulations, then you can have an I deer. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to come up with that. They probably already have. They're just mm. working on, you know, they probably just have the prototype done. Yeah. And um, That's what I was looking for. Yeah. They haven't brought it to market yet because they have to find a manufacturer. And you know how it is when you're mm -hmm. trying to make an idea for the first time. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I, I learned the word prototype from playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I think I learned that you're supposed to turn the oven on before you make your biscuits, and I think that I didn't do it. What's the temperature? I'm thinking we're wanting 400. Uh, so in Adriana's terms, that's 325. Okay. Yep, 400. Mm-hmm. Okay. All righty then. So then do you have to do that two more times? Or is that enough cashew stuff? It's enough cashew stuff because that equal that was two cups. Oh, that was the, yeah. the, the triple batch? Yes, part? that was two thirds. I wasn't paying that close attention. You know, you can catch it on the video. So like I said, if you only make a teeny weeny batch, teeny weeny, you can do the whole thing in the food processor. But eight biscuits, like I said, is enough for crack mm -hmm. for one meal. Mm -hmm. If you just want to make a meal out of biscuits. Yep. Which I would be okay with doing. Yeah, if you're not trying to do low carb. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we're all low carb. Yeah, right? we're, we're having potatoes you, and biscuits if you tonight. Can't tell, so we're not. The, the oh, I just had an idea. It's good. it's too late to use it, but yeah. you know how we're making the um, we're doing unchicken and biscuits. Mm -hmm. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a gravy recipe and uh, I'm going to put a mixed vegetables in it mm -hmm. and then we're going to throw in some unchicken. I'm going to put that on top of taters and gravy, but it would have been great if we had some sweet potatoes. We just have potatoes. Up. Oh, no, not cubed, cubed up. up. Cubed yeah, up. It's, yeah, it's a lot of work. It's too late. Yeah. Unless you want to eat at nine. Yeah. Which uh, I think me and Max have done the last two times we made stuff. Yeah, I don't want to do that because I actually, <laughs> I kind of missed taking a lunch today. So mm. Karen leaves at five. So at 4.30, I came up here and just made a salad because I figured we we're going to have a big dinner. So I didn't really want to eat a full meal and I'm going to eat again in two or, well, won't be... It won't be two hours later, but three hours later. Yeah, and I went for a six-mile run and came back and ate a pint of blueberries and a banana. So, so that'll hold you over I'm, for one hour. Yeah. <laughs> now this I'm is. I'm kind of hungry. I think it's supposed to be like the consistency of small peas or something, if I remember correctly, from high school. Just small and crumbly. I need three cups of plant milk. Here we go. My tablespoon was was in there. <laughs> you found it. <laughs> yeah, hiding in plain sight again. People were probably watching on the video, going, "It's right in that cup. It's right in that." Yeah, cup. like the time that we Why went to. Why can't you we, hear me? We went to the grocery store and tried to get uh, pepperoncinis for Dad, and couldn't find them. And someone else was like, "I saw it the whole time," and I was. <laughs> they were like pulling their hair out. Yeah, you shouldn't let things get to you that much, really. Yeah. This is just one of them internet videos. Yes, this is not life or death. Okay, gotta get some milk. Hurry! Oh wait, it's in the milk fridge. Yeah. I'm timing you, Mom. Please don't. I'm already doing it. Go along! Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, it is a good idea. Mm -hmm. You already shook it basically on running here. Probably. Um, back in the day, when I was a little girl. My father used to have a hood distributorship. Um, it doesn't mean he distributed hoods. Hood was a company that did a lot mm. of dairy products and orange juice and stuff like that. And they came out with this product called Milk in a Bag. Oh. It was a, a plastic bag of milk and it went in a special little pitcher and the pitcher had a slit here. Mm -hmm. So you'd, pour the, you'd snip off the corner, pour the milk out and then just twist the plastic pouch and just slide it into the little slit and that's how you kept it uh, closed. Well, once upon a time, my mom and her friend, they went somewhere and they left those kids home. You know, my sister Joan was probably 14, 15. She was watching us. It's not like we were home alone, but one of us dropped the milk thing. Uh oh. So it turns out that a bag of milk isn't really a great idea. But one <laughs> of us dropped it just as my mom and her friend Patty came home. 
To this day, they believe we were having a milk fight. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a milk fight, we just dropped it. You know, kids are clumsy. Mm -hmm. And that's- That's why they call them kids. Yeah. So they make them cute so you don't kill them. <laughs> so yeah, that was our, the big milk fight of 1976. <laughs> Remember the orange juice fight of, I don't know, 2000 or something like that? Or Kara 2003. Dumped. Orange juice on Leah? That, mm, that orange yeah. juice fight or was it another one? I think so. I think there was a tater tot war of 2005 too. Fighting over the number of tater tots that were left? Yeah, I think Kara be... and Leah were fighting over them. Okay. And then since I was out of it, you were like, Craig, you get to eat them. And yeah. Kara and Leah, you get grounded in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a pretty diabolical mom. Yeah. <laughs> I will teach you to act like that. Yeah. <laughs> I will make it your problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not my problem. Yeah. Your problem. Yeah, most of the time I was just a bad kid at school, not not yeah. here. You were an unlikable kid, just were kind of like not doing your work and stuff. And the being the class clown. Yeah. And then by the time I got to high school, I was, I was a pretty good kid again. Yeah, I was glad. Yeah, that was only from second grade to eighth grade, so, you know, no big deal. No, I was, I was only, a, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. No, I was a good kid until second grade. Yes. Third grade was when I... Started cutting up. So, yeah. moms... Don't give up hope. They could t actually turn out to someday do their homework and not have to be nagged about it. It could happen. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. Okay, so I've done that. I'm going to spray that with some cooking spray. In this, in the silverware drawer. Yes. I'm oh, who is it? Biscuits. Oh, it's your mom, actually. Oh, you know, I guess I got to answer that. Mom has a mom. I know it's a oh, shocker, but she has a mom too. Oh, I sprayed these here pans with some cooking spray. Spray the pans with Pam? Yes. And I'm just using this size spoon. I guess this is a soup spoon. Some might call it a tablespoon. And I'm dropping them on there. Well, right now it's a drop biscuit spoon. Yep. So I am not rolling these biscuits out and getting a pastry cloth dirty and flour all over the place because I do what I want. Mom, you said you have an important announcement? I do. These here biscuits, if you'd like them to be shortcakes for a strawberry shortcake, to a triple batch, just add a half a cup of sugar. Boom! You got enough sweetness for them to be shortcakes. That's all I have to say about that. And now someone else is calling. Who could this be? Nobody I know. There we go. Where'd my other tray of biscuits go? Over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to see if it's hot enough yet. Okay. Just stick your hand on a burner. Or okay, in it's the... not quite hot enough yet. Okay. So you can tell just by looking? At the thermometer? Yeah. Yes, you I can. You don't have to like touch one of the bars and... No, no, I've learned through experience that it's okay to believe what the dial says. All right. So while I'm waiting for a few minutes to get the... Uh, oven up to temp, I'm going to throw the mixed vegetables in the nuker. The nukerizer? Yes. Because this is uh, oh, also, since it's, it's on chicken, I'm going to put the crispy chicken tenders, that's what I'm going to use for my chicken, Gardein brand. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put that in the uh, pizza maker. Jen but right now it's going to be a chicken nugget maker. That's my, my favorite Trader Joe's ice cream. Cherry chocolate chip. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> so are you just trying to see how many devices you can use at one time? It wasn't, the microwave, I, it wasn't oven, really my intention, the but food it is processor. It's kind of working the, out that way. The Betty Crocker pizza cooker. But think about how proud um, I am that I didn't use a pastry cloth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> pretty pretty pumped about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've used up all the mixed vegetables, but I really wanted to get some more in there. So I'm gonna go out to the milk fridge, which also might be the mixed vegetable right. fridge. Go, go, go! And time you again. Oh my, someone else is calling you again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. What is with these people? Hmm. I think that's a telemarketer too. There you go. Wow. <laughs> it's a, it's a, I, again, it's another recognized number. Mm hmm So just, you know, quit bothering me!
Yeah, don't, don't they know that? Answer the stupid phone. Don't they watch our YouTube channel? Really? Oh, gee whiz. Golly gee gumpers. Oh, his mom would say, fiddlesticks. Fiddly winks. Dad, burn it. Gumdrops. Mom, I use the G word. Okay. I like to cram as much vegetables into stuff as I can. Wow, That's you really, why, you really are a vegan. That's why I'm a little disappointed in myself. I didn't think of doing some cubed sweet potatoes to add to this recipe. You're a bit of a vegetable pusher, huh? Oh, I am. That would have been such a great source of beta calcium. Yeah. Okay, let's give them seven minutes. Okay, there's one device going. Actually, I should let's... probably not sit over here just because I may or may not be too close to the Wi-Fi. Okay. Oh, now I'm kind of close to the microwave. <laughs> and sometimes that'll do it. It's a minefield. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to plug in the Betty Cracker pizza maker. That I don't we, think that interferes with my Wi-Fi. That so. we very rarely use for making pizza. Yeah. I don't it's think we've ever used it for making pizza like once. Um, I, I made calzones. I don't okay. Know if I made pizza or not. <gasps> we should do a recipe video for that. Oh, yeah. And earlier today, Mom made a homemade watermelon. Yes, I did. From scratch. Wasn't easy. I'm, that's a family recipe. It's a. I'm not giving that recipe. Yeah, it's right? a secret. You just get to figure it out for yourself. Okay, and mixed vegetables. Okay. <gasps> I wonder if the uh, oven's up to speed now. Yeah, you booted it up, right? I did boot up the oven. Now you gla grab my glasses. Yeah. I can't. Not quite. Uh, is it still going up though? You just need 25 more degrees. Yeah, it's still going up. Okay. Okay. So I've done that. And I might as well start gathering my gravy ingredients. I got my gravy pan out. I'm, now I'm gonna go get my gravy recipe. It's over here in this fancy notebook that Kara designed. Yeah. Andriana's recipes. Okay, I'm pretty clear on what to do here, so I'm gonna close that one up and I'm gonna put away my bookmark. <laughs> I put black beans on the grocery list. I did not. That's like a paperweight more than a bookmark, isn't Back. it? Yeah. Beans. Let's on the grocery list. Black beans. Not much. Steve's tomato dead. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, Tom's deodorant. Oh, Tom's of Maine. Uh, Tom's deodorant. dead. <laughs> Steve, Tom's dead. Sorry. <laughs> put it on the Forgot list. to mention your friend died. <laughs> Very important to put on the grocery list. Steve, Tom's dead. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, two ricotta and two flour. Yes, the ricotta cheese is because. I've made lasagna, lasagna two weeks in a row, and I didn't make lasagna this week because I'm afraid that, you know, what if we get sick of it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Craig doesn't think that that's possible, but I kind uh, of... Yeah, so just, just so everybody doesn't kill me, uh, the first time I didn't know Mom was even making it. The second time, I also didn't know Mom was making it. I just came home to it already being made. I wasn't going to complain, but because it was, you know, because so lasagna. So you sick of it? No, but I was kind of peeved that I didn't know that you are making oh, it. Oh, well, you know what? I didn't know either. <laughs> I'm not you kidding. just decided. It's just yeah, because like, you know the big, go for? the big uh, stumbling block for me with making lasagna was always boiling the noodles. I didn't mm. want to, hmm. but then I discovered ah, no boil noodles. Wow. Yeah, and I cobbled together a vegan lasagna recipe using lots of shortcuts because you know that's what I do. Okay, so I'm gonna need nutritional yeast, flour. Gee, I should have got the flour out from the biscuits. Oh well, mm -hmm. hindsight is 2020. I know Cucumbers. I'm gonna need liquid aminos. Strawberries. Tahini. We really are vegan. How are we mm. doing on tahini? Because I was thinking we need some homemade hummus. That blueberry jelly is pretty good. What happened? I feel like we should have some homemade hum hummus. And where's the tahini? Where's the tahini? Tahini. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Mm bunch of vegetable broth and then some spicy things. Spicy stiff. Do you have do we have vegetable broth in the, the well pull it too. refrigerator right um, now? Let me take a peek. Take a gander. Probably yes. Because I know I made taters not long ago for Easter. Okay, this has the date of four eighteen on it. That's not even a month. I'm getting high. Um, I just have to make sure I don't it. <laughs> oh, that's the good stuff. <laughs> it is. It's organic. You're huffing vegetable broth again? <laughs> I can quit any time I want. <laughs> Alright, so do you need another one? 
Mom's uh, like, I could always use another one. I'll stay with this for now. Well, because we're making a triple batch of gravy, which is going to take... And half of it's probably going to go up your nose. Right. It's going to take one and a half. Yeah, and then we're going to use some to put in the potatoes. So, yeah. I will guess I'll take one more. All right. Okay, what do I want to put in my gravy for spices? I'm thinking pepper. I like a lot of pepper. Pepper, pepper, pepper. And I'm going to need garlic for the potatoes. Pepper, onion. I do like a little bit of celery salt in my um, gravy. Because you do what you want. I do. Okay, we're gonna put a little cumin. That's gonna go for the taters. Mm. Sounds good. Um, you know, I'm a cumin I betcha, fan. I betcha we can. Uh, I'll probably get away with it, even if it's like now. 10 degrees too cold. Woo! Oh, it must have been wet on the. Yep, I feel like it'll dry up just fine. <laughs> okay, 12 minutes, and I need. Dish towel. There, there you go. go. Do we just jinx? Oh, me a Coke. Uh. Oh, the timer. There's something I wanted over here. Okay, it came out to be 13. Close enough. Okay, let's see if our nugget maker is ready. It is. The green light's on. Green means go. Everybody knows that. You know what I learned recently? No. Well, I'm about to tell you what I learned. You drop some knowledge on me? Yeah. So it doesn't apply to gardenes, but the Morningstar stuff, somebody left in the comments that if there's a brown box like this one, like this part is brown, then that means it's vegan. But if it's green, it means it's vegetarian. Okay. So you can tell just by looking at the box. All right. Well, I wish they would come out with a nice vegan sausage patty, would that be too much to ask? I know. All of them have egg whites, like literally all of them. What is the point? Yeah. Because if they had a nice, wonderful vegan sausage patty with a biscuit and like a, a hash brown thing, you could have a fantastic... You know what? We could probably make our own with seitan. Yeah, but that sounds like work, correct? Yeah. That's another. That's for another recipe video. Yeah, I feel, I feel like, like whenever we make stuff, we're like, hey, we could do this. Another idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what we need. So remember, this is hot. There's a few people Who are you house. reminding? <laughs> Maybe you could have your dad watch this video. Yeah. Did you bring yourself on it once? I don't think so. Not that I know of. If I did, it wasn't. It clearly wasn't that bad because it okay. didn't, didn't stick in my memory. Okay. So there's our... Unchicken tenders. Look at all of our baked meat. Yeah, Tofoiki, tofoiki. We have a little bit. Soy chorizo. Oh, you know what else we discovered for pizza mm. is the... Oh, the fake um, pepperoni and bacon? Yeah. Well, actually, they didn't have bacon, but they did have ham. I'm actually not a big fan of either of those. No? Not even the pepperoni for pizza? Nah. No. I was kind of happy to get it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think you guys liked it. But I was like, I mean, I'll eat done. it. Right. Veggies are done. I'm good. Okay, so I'm threatening to make gravy, and I was looking for celery salt in all the wrong places. Looking for celery salt in too many faces. Too many cooks? Too many cooks! Too many cooks! No, Mom, it's too, too many, many cooks. cooks, too many cooks. Okay, if you say so. Did I see that one? No. Mom, just, just turn around and give me a face that you would give me if you were in like the 90s. Like a 90s sitcom. Alright, that works. I was in the 90s, Craig. Yeah, me too. Matter of fact, yeah, so were you. <laughs> you were kind of a whiny baby. Yeah. Don't put me down! Yes. <laughs> that was Craig. As long as somebody was holding him constantly, he was fine. <laughs> Okie dokie. So this here, I think we're going to do a triple batch of gravy. We have yet to have enough gravy made at a time. I can't say a quarter cup. So I need three quarters of a cup of flour. Basically you just put your dry stuff in there. Okay. And that's the so I'm going to stir the nutritional yeast and the flour together and toast it over medium heat. Hmm. So yeah, three quarters of a cup. The 
It's a very professional kitchen we got here. Yeah. This is how they do it on the chew. Yeah. <laughs> you opened the potatoes, didn't you? Oh, wasn't that hilarious? <laughs> okay, then... Yeah, it's okay. Now can I put the flour away? You know what, Craig? I know I, I threatened to make blueberry cobbler, but I don't see that. Yeah, I didn't think that you would. I feel like that was an empty threat. We'll make that for another video. Didn't we do that once? Uh, we've definitely made it more than once, no, but I, mean, I think we, I don't we videoed it, didn't think we? Was so. It my birthday or something? I think yeah, I think we just showed it. Oh. I don't okay. think we, we documented see. the process gotcha. of making it. Well, that's mean. Yeah. Okay. Quarter cup of this too, so times three. How many minutes are the the, the unchickens in there for? Uh, I don't know. I guess I should take a peek at them, huh? Take a gander. What's another word for peak and gander? Peak, gander, hmm. Oh, that was, that's it. Those are the words I was looking for. Hmm? That's the other words I was looking for. Peak and gander? Yeah. Well, you're welcome. Yeah. Now I got too many cooks stuck in my head. I hope you're happy. Do you know that song? No, I don't, but... So how's it stuck in your head? Because you said it. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. Okay, we've got time. Okay. And before I start toasting stuff, I think I will measure out my spices so I can just chuck them in there. Let's see, I'm going to want a lot of pepper. I brought this to Easter. Um, somebody commented that the gravy had quite a kick. Oh yeah? Because of all the pepper? I guess. Or maybe, no, you know what? Maybe it was the potatoes. Okay, it's a teaspoon and a half. That's not that much. Yeah. You tell me. Onion. Well, you tell we'll mom. Do a teaspoon and a half of that. So. Yeah. Maybe we will. The celery salt. I won't use as much of that because you know it's got the S word. Mom. I Try not to use a lot of that. Is it a quarter teaspoon? Um. Yes. Okay. I guess I'll do another one. <laughs> That's it. A very good handoff. <laughs> yeah. I used to run relays and um kindergarten yeah 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 I can tell that was my best thing there the, your best the event off. in the in the, <laughs> the kindergarten the baton hand off, yes. okay that'll probably be good okay so people always say that in movies like yeah I ran track in high school it's like yeah well that doesn't mean anything yeah or I'll, I'll read <laughs> well, I'll read books where um uh, they have to chase a bad guy and you know they haven't run in years but you know it all comes back to them yeah muscle memory ten years later yeah sure it does yeah who do you think you're fooling? Not us. Yeah, we're family runners, all right? Yeah. We know we know stuff. Yeah, we know lots of stuff. You know why? Because we can do lots of stuff. So I am pre-measuring this two-cup thing of uh, for the gravy because it's going to call for six cups of vegetable broth because I am, in fact, making a triple batch because wow. we have yet to have enough gravy. Hmm. So basically, toast this up. Stir it. Up, toast it up so I guess. Stir it up, toast it up. Yeah, for oh you yeah, know, I want the gas to come on all the way. <laughs> there you Notice go. how nice and clean my stove is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. I think someone cleaned it like a, two weeks ago. Or yeah, something, yeah, maybe. Some, someone should clean it again. Yeah, I'll get on it. I'll get someone on the case. Well, this will be somewhat lumpy, so I'll just pull up my handy dandy um, stick blender. Stick blender? Uh-huh. Like blender stick, whatever you whatever you want to call it. Oh, I call it an immersion blender. But. That thing, yeah. yeah. Well, it says to remove it from the heat, add the vegetable broth, and then put it back. So, just this one time, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow directions. It does smell like popcorn. I love popcorn. Oh, I know. You used to eat it all the time. You used to eat it for dinner sometimes. Well, that was back in the day. <laughs> before you we went big. Uh, before I had kids. <laughs> no, you did. You did it when, we, when you had us. I didn't eat popcorn for dinner when I had you. That's yeah. a very bad example. You did it. I, I did remember not. That, I did. I remember you doing that sometimes when you come up from. You've work. been sniffing vegetable broth, nah. Craig. <laughs> I remember you did that. I, I mean, it wasn't like an all the time thing, but it was just like every once in a while. Are you changing the subject? I don't think these are done. Oh well, you can always put it back in. Yeah. We're gonna cut them up and throw them in here, you know. Wait, are you gonna be cooking it? Sure. Cooking it further? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Wait, where are you gonna be cooking it? In the gravy. Oh. We're throwing them in. We're gonna cut them up like I think I'll cut each one into thirds. Just shut the lid; it'll keep on. Hold on, I'm on. just gonna. 
I'm just gonna try this little piece. Well, the truth is that you just want a chicken nugget. Yeah, kind of. <gasps> uh oh, I put it on the table. That hasn't been cleaned and sanitized, right? <gasps> Jeez, a little. Yeah. Okay, so I got my gravy going. What else do I have to do? I have to drain the taters. All I gotta do is make the mashed taters. Yeah, and pretty soon the biscuits will be, the first batch of biscuits will be done, in which case I will have to put another batch in. Notice that this didn't have a roux, you know, butter. Mm -hmm. Cause that's how a lot of gravies are made. They melt butter first and stuff. Yeah, this is oil free. Well, exactly. I think the broth actually has oil in it, but. If you make, no. yeah, I'm not too happy to hear that. I don't understand why oil is in broth. Yeah. Maybe somebody in the comments can enlighten it doesn't us. Doesn't make the sense. Yeah, but it's just boiled um, vegetables, yeah. boiled vegetable water. But Craig, I trust if I turn around, I know I have 24 biscuits here. I so think you got 23. I was afraid of that. These are not the biscuits you're looking for. What about that little piece? That's for me. Ooh, so good. Okay, so I'm gonna drain the taters. This biscuit is pretty good. What biscuit? Craig, Craig. Just testing it. Good steam rising Took off. one for the team? Mm-hmm. Good form, Mom. Thank you. Good thing there's nothing plastic in there. Good thing, well there is, but this stuff, it's not boiling Yeah, anymore. it's Yeah, it's, it's pretty durable plastic. If it was like wimpy plastic, like Tupperware plastic. It'd be over. Yeah, it'd pretty much be melted. Okay, so this is mashed potatoes. Notice that we have not um, peeled them. Uh huh. Because we don't really feel like it. Also, I think most of the nutrients are actually in the mm -hmm. potato skins. But why bother? I mean, like you like a baked potato. You don't even notice. Yeah, you no, you really don't. Well, so yeah, therefore we'll come smash potatoes instead of mashed potatoes. Yeah. But um, because if I had to peel potatoes, I would never make mashed potatoes. Same mm -hmm. thing with, uh, I make carrot cake, I don't peel the carrots. I just put them through the food process so you can't even notice. And that's, again, that's where all the vitamins are. Mm -hmm. I scrub them real well, so I use dirt-free carrots, but uh, I threatened to make an apple pie without peeling the apples, but that's probably going a little too far. I'd eat it. I know you'd eat it, you'd eat anything. You're like the human garbage can. Mm -hmm. I clean up our garbage, or not our garbage, I clean up our fridge all the time. Yes. Craig, you originated the garbage plate without really meaning to. Dad was originally, and then I, I took over the role. Yeah. But he does, he does it too, me and him. Yeah, so I mean, he's, he's known to take one for the team. Okay, so now I've smashed my taters. So now I need seasoning for my taters. Well, for starters, vegetable broth. It's always about the vegetable broth with you, isn't it? Yep. Pretty much. Mom. I didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. So I'm using are you just, are you just very holding that, holding that for a friend? Yeah. I'm using very precise measurements here. It's not mine, I swear. It's not. And I and if it was, I could quit any time I wanted. So I think for taters I like to use white pepper. It's the thing. I learned when I used to work at Plainville Farms restaurant back in the 80s. These mashed potatoes are actually really easy to make. Yeah, they are. Especially when you don't peel the taters. Mm hmm. Because, I mean, you gotta figure, what time do we start? About, mm. about an hour ago? Yeah. And we're almost done. Uh, we've got mashed potatoes, gravy, biscuits, vegetables, chicken things. Gravy, fake chicken things. Okay, so. If we were having Thanksgiving, we, we could do stuffing. Well, I, I could easily make stuffing if I wanted yeah. to also because I do Because it's just water and stuff. Although it's better if you, I <laughs> mean, yeah, we're using, we use Pepperidge Farms uh, stuffing mix, but it's better if you saute some onions and uh, mm -hmm. celery first and do it that way. Yeah. It's more gooder. Okay. So for potatoes, I'm going to do some garlic because garlic is super good in potatoes. That's a good reason. Yeah. And Craig is quite the lover of cumin, so I'll do mm -hmm. a bit of cumin. Jared's a lover of garlic. 
Yes, you, we all have our spices. But I feel like as a family, we pretty much hate cilantro. Oh, God, yeah. Okay. Agreed. Doing a little onion. Onion powder. Uh -huh, Mom doesn't it. like raw onions. Hate it. I like onion rings, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cooked Agreed. onions. Yep. White pepper, isn't it? Something I said. Mm-hmm. You done said it. As opposed to red pepper. Mm-hmm. Or black pepper. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, I got black pepper for the gravy. This is what I think my brother-in-law was talking about when he said there it was a little bit of a kick in the. Oh yeah. In the Easter potatoes. And we had our Easter French toast. That was some good French toast. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Okay, so I still need to do a recipe video of that one, and the peanut butter pie, and the the buffalo chicken. Oh yeah, buffalo dip. chicken. Buffalo chick. Well, we we make buffalo chickpea dip. Maggie made it with tofu. Oh, so. I can get her recipe too. Yeah. There. Yes. Yeah, so you can do it with tofu. Kara's done it with chickpeas before too. Yeah. Chickpeas, chicken, we've... or tofu. You could probably really do it with anything. Yeah. You could, well, yeah. It you could really use the fake chicken good. like we're using for our um, on chicken and biscuits. Mm -hmm. You can use that. Let's smell the cumin. The reason I measure it out and then add it is so that you don't get like a clump of spice. Mm hmm I would just add it all in. Yeah, I know you would. <laughs> and that's fine. Do you do what you want? I do what I exactly. want. Exactly. But we do like things to be fairly seasoned. Mm hmm We don't really like food that's bland. Yeah. We're bland haters. Mm-hmm. You're going a little too slow for your, your liking? Yeah. Let's go. Let's get this show on the road. I like to eat about an hour after I start cooking. So the gravy is nice and thickened up. So I'm going to chuck my veggies in. And I'm vegetables? Just, I missed the whole time wishing I had sweet potatoes to put in there too. And hmm. Feeling a little bit of vegetable just, there's regret. There's like, um, already cooked sweet potatoes you could get too and you can just microwave them. I know we've got them before. Yeah? Yeah. And then the chicken we cooked in the pizza cooker, which Turns out to be a chicken nugget cooker. So I just cut those nuggets. I cut each one. Those are Gardein brand. I cut each one into thirds. So yeah, that's how you can have your traditional food without killing any chickens. Mm-hmm. You know, all you gotta kill is some potatoes. Yeah. And I'd say, there we go. There's our chicken and biscuits. Mom, come on. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Falling down on the job. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have my spices or liquid in me. This is what happens when I videotape stuff. And yeah, I do tend to make <laughs> many more mistakes that way. Not used to being in the spotlight. You gotta be an entertainer and a cooker. Yeah, and then there's all that thinking and stuff. Golly gee gumpers. Okay, so I think I need four tablespoons yeah, I think of there's, liquid there's in there definitely is a direct correlation between do I make a video and you make mistakes or do I not make a video and you don't make mistakes like the the donut the yep. donut incident of 2016 was that 17 I think it was 16 right oh no no it was this year oh, yeah? it was for Leah and Timmy's birthday oh the donut incident of 2017 yes it was a new year and a now we've got bad the, video the gravy video or the gravy yeah. incident of 2017 most things can be corrected yeah but yeah I forgot to have my spices we'd be going boy this is bland <laughs> And, and the liquid aminos really make it. Yeah, they make it savory because yeah. this is called brown gravy. And right now, it's tan gravy. Mm -hmm. And now I haven't added any salt other than that little bit of celery salt, but there is salt in the liquid aminos. Oh, yeah. So, Because I do try to be as low salt as possible. Yep. Actually, whenever I make the, um, whenever I make this, I don't add any of the celery salt. I just really like celery flavor. Yeah. Oh. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> Oops. Daisy. Uh, daisy. One. How many are you doing? Six. Two. Oh, mom, that's two. Three. Four. Luckily, I have a backup bottle. I always have a backup I bottle. I don't know if it's going to sell stuff on the bottom or not. So just they gotta switch, you got to switch up the liquid and the aminos. Right. I don't want to. Oh, ball, bollocks. Tin foil will get you every time. Mm hmm. Four. And five. Now, 
hopefully it will be Browner. properly seasoned. So I chucked my chicken in there, or my, my not chicken. And my veggies. I could have crammed more vegetables in there. If you want to be really crazy and nuts, now I feel like Rip Appleson. Rip Appleson. Appleton? Appleton would do this. You could throw spinach in there. Wow. You could throw anything in there. There, now I feel like it's done. Going in for the kill. Turns out I might be a half smashed cook, but it came out pretty good. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, just in time for dinner. Wow. You can call me whatever you want, just don't call me late for dinner. Huh, uh, Took the words uh. right out of my mouth. Except my mouth was full. No. Now you can go now, Dad. You can eat now. Thanks. Gotta get an action shot, though. All right. <laughs> People can see the mashed potatoes in action. Mmm. And mostly the gravy. The gravy is what so it really counts. Mom, final review of your own recipe you just made up tonight? Well, I gotta say, for being kind of half-assed, that Ooh. was really good. Yeah. That it was, was really good. Awesome. I but, had seconds, and I could go for thirds. If I was a 25-year-old boy who was six feet tall and could eat his weight and food and not get an ounce, like somebody I know, I'd go back for the thirds. <sighs> but I'm not going to.